a land anchor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deploy the land anchor. So, this is a land anchor. Um, this is from Pull Pal. As far as I know, this is the original land anchor. Um, but, it comes in handy for times like this, when uh, chains just aren't enough to get me through. I've got a fairly significant incline to get up, and gravity is not helping me here. And so I'm losing traction, even with the chains, to get back over. Uh, so we're gonna deploy this beast in the winch to get me up over. So what I'm doing here, I have the land anchor uh, affixed to my spare tire carrier using um, some mounts from Fortrex. Uh, great company, he does custom mounts. I had him uh, make me a mount for this two inch square tube and then he makes an adapter mount just for the pull pal. Um, basically it's modular so you can have whatever uh, whatever device accessory you need on whatever mount you need and he's got them for everything but in this case the pull pal is what I needed from him and, uh, and he, uh, he took care of that so unfortunately I have mine locked because we've been on a pretty uh, extensive cross-country trip so let me go get my key to unlock that it's just getting up here <laughs> so one tip I'm going to give you is don't lose the hardware for your mounts. So I always carry spare Ziploc baggies with me just in case. So this way I don't have to worry about these guys while we're trekking across. So the other thing I need is my spade, which happens to be stored right here. This is one of those things you want to have fairly easy to get to because as you can see you don't always get to pick your terrain that you get stuck in oh, you get good at sliding in snow so this is gonna mount right up here and I'm just doing it while it's still sort of resting on the mount but I'll give you a close-up here of what it looks like so when this thing is fully open it looks kind of like the picture which is a nice reference it even shows you which way to put the point. The point goes towards the hook. Um, and then this just slips over and there's this little latch here, which I'm trying to unlatch, that locks it in place. Flip it like that. And that's the land anchor. So we'll now take this up someplace where we can dig in. Now, how far do I want to place this? And the real answer is it depends on how much winch line I have. I know I want to get through this, but even if I can get winched up into the middle, it might be enough. So I'll just put the land anchor there, run the winch line out, and we'll see if that's enough. By the way, I highly recommend closed system winching. This is a Factor 55 splicer. So I'm gonna use that to connect to the land anchor using a D-ring adapter. So what I'm gonna do is feed the D-ring through there. Screw it in nice and tight. And that's set. Now for this, In snow, it's highly likely it's gonna trench for a bit when I start winching. That's okay, I'll let it dig a trench, I'll loosen it up, pull it back, and then go back in the same trench. But let's see what happens there. Uh, and for safety, yeah, bystanders, stay out of this zone in case 
either that comes loose and goes flying that way or the winch line breaks either way so I'm on top now, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the land anchor and see if I can finish the job myself. Now this thing is gonna be dug in here pretty tight. I'm just loosening it up and I'm gonna pull it backwards out of the trench that it came from. That is the Pull Pal. And thank you, Pull Pal, for not leaving me stranded somewhere in the Colorado mountains, wherever that is. And I don't have cell service, so I can't call for help. And then the chains get me the rest of the way out. Woo! Okay, that was pretty darn awesome. So uh, as you can see, um, we made it across, and then uh, it was significantly steeper approach on the other side, but we made it back over. Um, needed both the chains and the land anchor, although honestly, I think maybe the land anchor would've got me over without chains. Uh, but once I got out of that high approach angle, I mean, there was a point where I was buried to the axle, the entire steering system was buried, and uh, and using the winch was able to just get past that part. So, uh, so one of the things that makes the land anchor such a value to me right now, I don't have any other vehicles out here to tow me out. I mean, Drew's got the motorcycle and we knew this going in, but he's not pulling me through that snow. If you look around, there's not an anchor point within sight. Nothing I can certainly reach. Lesson learned for me on this was um, I tried to let the tires do too much work to where I ended up spinning and digging uh, once I, uh, put more dependence on the land anchor and the winch and less on the tires, um, I was able to ease out uh, a lot better. So um, that, was a, that was a lesson learned for me and I come away from this even smarter than I was when I got here. Hard to believe. Amazing.